Babylon was not only the centre of the empire, it was the largest city that the world had known, and full of the very latest technology and culture. The Judean exiles must have been overawed as they entered the city, and year by year their wonder will have grown. The most important event in Babylon's yearly calendar was the annual New Year's festival. The gods were taken out of the city to summer residences, and then, or at New Year, brought in solemn procession back through the Ishtar Gate into the city, the processional route to the temple lined with magnificent bright-coloured tiles, road thronged with people, the procession with the glistening with the gods with their gold coverings in the sun, singing, shouting, huge crowds, more than had ever been imagined in Jerusalem, and finally making their way to the temple where destiny for the year was determined and announced. This was the one festival on which Babylon's life depended. The king's role in these festivities was essential, and yet in the late 530s the unpopular Nabonidus had been in conflict with the priests of Marduk, preferring the god of his hometown, Sin, refusing to take 